Good morning. How'd you sleep, Weasel? Slept great, thanks. It was a good night. Good night. Yeah, you took up the whole bed, man. Gotta share. Good morning, everybody. I just crawled out of bed, put some clothes on, and we're at the Flying J in South Beloit, Illinois. Illinois. Illinoising traffic we're gonna have to deal with today in Chicago as we deliver this lumber. We picked this lumber up in Edmonton, Alberta, in Canada, and somebody wants it here in Chicago. So I'm gonna go bring it to them. And I don't have a reload yet. I've been looking, I've been waiting. But uh, nothing yet. So maybe by the time we get there, got a little bit of a hike into the city. I wanted to be there a little earlier. Oh. But it just didn't work out. Uh, I wanted to be there right now, but they said as long as I'm there sometime today So they're not really expecting it first thing in the morning. I was just hoping to get it unloaded a little earlier Hopefully there's not a lineup yet when we get there to be unloaded It is what it is Let's get ready. Let's get going. I'm gonna fuel up here real quick yet and then be on our way well, I think I picked the right lane. This guy is just finishing up, filling up his reefer tank. So that usually means he's done. And he'll be pulling forward right away. Pumps are kind of busy here this morning. Maybe I should have fueled last night. That probably would have been smart. Well, last night I was thinking, maybe I don't need to fuel. Maybe I'll fuel after I deliver in Chicago, you know? But I don't know which direction I'm heading. And I don't like thinking, Oh yeah, maybe we'll do it later. Hopefully. Hopefully there'll be a, a truck stop. Hopefully there'll be fuel somewhere. No, no, let's just grab fuel when we know there is fuel. Let's not mess around. Okay, so grabbed our fuel, grabbed our coffee. I've got a granola bar for breakfast. Gonna make healthy choices again today, right? Right? Turn my signal on so people know what I'm doing in the parking lot. Now, I said it before, you know, uh, when I went to go get my my driver's license just for uh, like the car, uh, in Manitoba it's a class five license, when I was 16 anyways, I went to go get my driver's license. Uh, I passed my test the first try, but I did get points against me because I didn't use my turn signal in a gravel parking lot. It wasn't even a paid parking lot. I didn't even, there wasn't even any spots or anything or any lanes marked. But I had parked in a gravel parking lot and then I had started moving and I turned to the left to go towards the exit of the parking lot and I didn't use my signal. I was the only one in the parking lot. The driver instructor or the test guy, whatever, Gave points against me for that, for not using my signal in a parking lot. So, just so you know, I don't know how it goes in the U.S. here, but up where we're from, up in the Great White North, it is law that you have to use your turn signal, even in the parking lots. Which a lot of people, uh, well, most people don't even use it in the <laughs> on the highway or main roads. So, not very many use it in the parking lots. And nobody knows what anyone's doing, right? You're not signaling. Anyways, let's get on the road. Let's go visit the Windy City. Let's go visit Chicago. Did you know that Winnipeg, Manitoba used to be called Chicago of the North? Or Windy City of the North? Back in the 1800s. Meters, turn oh, come on, Karen. I'm telling a story. Street, Every time I'm telling a story, you have to get your... That's not even what I was talking about. Meters. That has nothing to do with my story. Winnipeg, Manitoba, uh, and Chicago, Illinois. Man, Karen, they were very similar cities in the 1800s, and uh, they were called sister cities. My, how times have changed, eh? <laughs> I mean, Winnipeg is one of the most violent cities in Canada, and Chicago is, well, it's Chicago, so I guess they still have some stuff in common.
that's that. No more lumber. So I've been here at this, uh, what do you call this, oasis here in Chicago. I really don't want to stay in the city overnight, so I've been kind of pushing to get a direction to go, but I've been waiting all day for directions, and I finally got it. We're going to Delavan, Wisconsin, which is an hour and a half north of here. Uh, just over the border into Wisconsin. I want to get out of here before rush hour gets too bad. It's 3.30 right now. It already looks like it's pretty bad out there. Picking up some kind of generator tomorrow. It's going to be an LTL load, so I'm picking up uh, one generator tomorrow, then going up to Berlin, Wisconsin. I'm, I think I'll be picking up more generators from a different place there. I don't know. It's, a, it's going to be a mismatched load, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So yeah, I'll pick that up first thing tomorrow. I've got to be in Berlin before 2 o'clock. How far is Berlin from Delavan? Let's figure this out. Google, learn me. Berlin, Wisconsin. Not Germany. Not Ger We're not going to Berlin, Germany. We're going to Berlin, Wisconsin. From Delavan, Wisconsin. We're going to load first thing in the morning in Delavan, Wisconsin. Berlin is two hours north. Okay, so I definitely, definitely have to leave Delavan no later than 11 a.m. Got you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, I've been sitting here all day waiting, but uh, it is what it is. I don't wait very often, but it's just a slow season right now. So let's go get our freight. I'm surprised I even found parking at one of these oases. Usually they're just packed, but this one's under construction, so I think a lot of people just drive past thinking that it's closed. Well, the parking lot's still open. A friendly police officer actually directed me here. I was trying to figure out where to go. I guess I, I was parked on the side of like a side street where I delivered and I was trying to figure out where to go and this nice police officer pulls up beside me and asks me if I was okay or if there's any trouble and I said, well, I'm just, I just don't want to end up under a low bridge. I'm looking for a place to park for a while. And he told me this place is under construction and that most truck drivers drive right past thinking that is closed. So I could probably find parking there. And it was just around the corner. A lot of people aren't letting me in. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, see, there's another lane for you. There you go. So yeah, friendly cops around here. So let's go to Wisconsin. Let's get out of this city. A lot of nice people in Chicago, but there's also a lot of nice, not so nice people. I haven't met the not so nice people yet, but I hear about them all the time. Chicago's got a, a global reputation, I think. This is not a city you want to spend the night in if you're not from here. Okay, if you're from here, you probably know which areas to avoid. I'm not from here, so I just avoid the whole city altogether. The whole thing. I do not sleep in Chicago. So this is that same route that we took the one time we were trying to avoid the tolls on the way home and it ended up taking us way longer going this way. Except this time we actually need to go this way. Uh, we're going to stop at a new truck stop which has been built or a travel plaza, whatever you want to call it. It's a Love's Travel Plaza in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. We're coming up to the Wisconsin border here real soon. We're still in Illinois. I'm still amazed at how like, how many people, how many people? are out here every time i know i know it gets old i say it all the time but chicago and milwaukee it's the same city like we're just in in between the two cities right now right but it's still city i haven't hit any countryside yet they call it different names but it's all the same to me it's amazing oh hey that's a chevy volt here just to our left Oh, they changed that. It looks like a Honda Civic now. Why did they do that? Oh, it looked good before already. I almost, well, I, I almost considered buying a, a Volt at one point. I like the idea that it has a gas generator built into it so that when you run out of charge, you can continue down the road without having to charge it. It just, the gas engine kicks in and it charges the batteries for you. I thought about getting one. I thought it was a pretty unique car, but now that they changed the body style, I don't know what Chevy's been doing in the last little while, but they've been messing up their body styles. I still love them. 
but and and the new Chevy Silverado, it's growing on me. I, I'm still not a fan of the shorter hood. That's my biggest criticism of it. I don't like the shorter hood, but they do. They 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 do look pretty good. I mean, it's growing on me. I'm not gonna get one, but I, I don't hate them as much as I did when I first saw them. I can appreciate them. I, I see what they're doing. You know, a couple of years down the road, they'll come out with a new body style, and I'm sure they'll take all the criticism to heart. Hopefully, probably not. Well, look at this. This is sort of almost countryside here. Look. Wow. An open field. Well, that was fun. And we're back into town. Okay. This is probably where I would live. If I had to live near Chicago, I'd want to live somewhere out here in the... Would you call this a suburb? I don't know. I don't know how they define their cities here because it's all just one big city. It's like the East Coast of the U.S. East Coast. All one big city. It's like New York, Boston, well, maybe not Boston, but New York, Baltimore, uh, Philadelphia. What else is in that area there? It's all like one big city. New York. Uh, New York City. Did I say that? I probably said that. You guys know what I mean. It's all one big city. I still love where I live, though, you know? I like where I live. I have no reason to move. Not yet, anyway. We'll see how the future turns out, but we're gonna stick it out as long as we can. This is what my view looks like right now. We're just about the Wisconsin border. We're still in Illinois. If you look at the GPS right there, that line going across. I can't really see it, I guess. I don't know if you can see it or not. That's the Wisconsin border. Oh, and the scale is open. Are you gonna let me bypass or what? This is gonna tell me in a second whether or not I have to head into the scale or not. It always worries me sometimes, even when this thing says, ah, oh, it says follow road signs. Shoot, that means I've gotta go into the scale. Sometimes this thing will tell me to bypass. I'm always worried sometimes. Like, do they get the message then that I'm supposed to bypass? Do they know that I'm cleared to go? I've never been chased, but if it says bypass, we're supposed to just keep driving right past. Still makes me nervous. <laughs> oh, I remember this scale. This is the scale that where you gotta turn left, wait for traffic. Traffic always gets really backed up here. I came through here once during rush hour as well. Might be able to get in there without blocking traffic or without slowing down. Oh no, we have to wait for those guys. So I gotta make a left turn into the scale here. And it's so confusing. Because they're gonna come out here. So they've got both sides open. Please dim lights, okay. Wait for scale to clear. Okay, see there's another guy waiting way over there on the right. So there's only one scale. But I've gotta stop here and wait for the scale to clear. And then he's gonna go. But meanwhile, if there's more trucks behind me, they haven't come yet, but they've gotta actually stop on the road and block traffic. That guy gonna wait there? He's not gonna wait there, is he? Oh yeah, he's gonna wait, okay. It's so confusing. So this little guy's gotta creep over first, and then I go. I don't know why they have both directions open at the same time. They should only have one, one direction open. Or have, you know, a scale on both sides. Looks like that gravel truck over there got pulled in. Okay, now it's our turn. You see over there on the other side, there's two trucks waiting now. Now they have to block traffic. All right, so stop on the scale. Go ahead. told me to go ahead, so I don't want to go through too quickly. 
let them read all my numbers. There we go. And you see when it gets busy with trucks here, it creates a huge kerfluffle with all the traffic and everything. Slight left. But that's the way it is here, so that's the way we do it. I remember my first time coming through the scale. It was more than confusing. Now we gotta try to get back onto this road without hitting anything, without anyone hitting us. Still traffic coming, still traffic coming. We got some on the left, got some on the right. Oh, it's gonna be a while. I'll talk to you guys once we get to Loves. How's that? We're almost there. It's not even 5.30. It's dark already. 200 meters, turn right on, Commerce Drive and then, approaching destination on the right side, in zero meters. Zero meters as soon as I turn right, eh? I don't think so, but I do see it here. Hopefully there'll be parking. I mean, it's only 5.30, it feels way later, eh? Let's go see what's going on at Love's. You have arrived at your destination on the right side, 100 Commerce Drive. All right. I want a good parking spot. Plenty of parking available. Oh, I love stopping early. Look at this. I love this. Let's see, you guys see any good spots? I want a corner spot. I'm picky. But I can be picky, because look at all these options. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing over there, buddy? Just flying around. All the corner spots are taken. Shoot. Of course they are. Maybe there's one over here? Nope. Nope, all taken. Well, I don't want to be at the very back of the lot. Let's, let's do a lap, let's see. Oh, there's a corner spot. Oh, but it's beside a reefer, isn't it? No, that's not a reefer. Is that a reefer? A reefer? I'm gonna do a lap. I'm gonna go see what's over here. I want the best spot. So it's good to see that Loves has actual like repair shops now where you can get your truck service, not just tire shops. That's kinda kinda nice. They used to only be known or used to be known for only having tire shops. Okay, there's no parking over here to the left. Okay, I thought there would be. Nope. Okay. Well, then we'll pick one of these spots and we'll call it a night. 